now moving on to the next topic that is development. Some important developmental milestones that we need to know. Okay, so we will be discussing the developmental milestones, the important ones under four headings. So, gross motor, what happens, you know, at one month, the child is, there is no neck control. So, if you hold a baby in ventral suspension, okay. So, first let us discuss about in ventral suspension, hold the baby like this. So, in ventral suspension, the, the face is facing below. So, what happens at one month, the head is below the plane of rest of the body, no neck control, okay head below the plane of rest of body. Two months head will come in the plane of rest of body. Head in plane of rest of body. So, partial neck control has come. Okay. And three months head can go above the plane of rest of the body. Okay. Head above plane of rest of body. So, neck control develops. Another thing we need to know in the prone position, what the child is able to do or the posture of the child in prone position. So, in prone position at birth, you know the baby lies with high pelvis and knees under the abdomen, okay. High pelvis, knees under the abdomen and head is turned to one side. Knees under abdomen, head turned to one side, okay. Next what happens at 1 to 2 months? The baby is able to lift his head and chin, okay. So, at 1 to 2 months, the baby is able to raise the head and chin off the table at 45 degrees. Raises head and chin off table at 45 degrees. At 3 months, he can support his weight on the forearms, okay. 3 months support weights on forearm. So, this all we are talking in the prone position. And 6 months supports weight on extended forearms, so on the hands, okay. 6 months supports weight on extended forearms, that means hands. So, you can get picture based questions on these, okay, the posture of the baby and you have to tell the age. Now, some other important gross motor milestones, okay. So, sitting, standing, walking, let us see. So, other gross motor milestones that are important for us are, at 6 months, the child can do sitting with support or also it is also called sitting in tripod position. And also the child rolls over at this time, that means prone to supine, okay. Rolls over, prone to supine, right. 7 months, he will turn supine to prone. 8 months, sitting without support. 9 months, standing with support. 10 to 11 months pivots and cruising. Pivot means turns around a single axis like this, okay. So, 10 to 11 months pivots and cruising. 12 months standing without support and walking with support. So, walks with one hand held at this time, walking with support, okay. 15 months, the baby is able to walk without support. So, 15 months walks without support and creeps upstairs. Creeps upstairs. 18 months goes up and downstairs holding the side railing. Upstairs and downstairs holding side rail and runs also. Not on the stairs, on level ground. Holding side rails and runs. 2 years goes up and downstairs 2 feet per step, okay, 2 years 2 feet per step, 2 years upstairs and downstairs 2 feet per step and he can also kick a ball at this time, 3 years goes upstairs with alternate feet but downstairs still 2 feet per step and rides a tricycle, 3 years rides a tricycle. 4 years goes both upstairs and downstairs with alternate feet and hops on one foot. Upstairs and downstairs one foot per step and hops on one foot. So, these are some important gross motor milestones. Now, moving on to some important fine motor milestones. So, fine motor milestones. 
So important fine motor milestones that we need to know. At three months, something comes that is called hand regard and holds an object when placed in hand. This is the time when the, you know, the uh, grasp reflex, palmer grasp reflex is lost. Holds an object when placed in hand. Four month tries to reach for object. Five months important milestone by dextrous grasp. Six months you need extras of palmer grasp. You need extras of palmer grasp. Seven month transverse objects. Nine months immature pincer grasp and twelve months mature pincer grasp. Nine months immature pincer grasp or assisted pincer grasp, while twelve months mature or unassisted pincer grasp. So, at 12 months of age, mature or unassisted pincer grasp and casting. Okay. At 15 months, spontaneous scribbling and tower of two cubes. Spontaneous scribbling, tower of two cubes and drinks from cup. 18 months, feed self with spoon. Okay. Two years, tower of six to seven cubes, two into three, six. Okay, two years and three years, the tower of cubes, uh, you multiply by three. So, two years, tower of six to seven cubes. Copies a line. A line has got two ends. Okay, a line has got two ends. So, copies a straight line at two years. And he also learns rotating motion. So, turns a door knob or unscrews a lid. lid. Okay, turns a door knob, unscrews a lid. Three years. Tower of 9 to 10 cubes. Handedness gets established. So, you will be able to know whether it is a right handed person or a left handed person. So, handedness appears at 24 months, but it gets established at 36 months. Okay. So, handedness gets established. Okay. Copies a circle at 3 years. Right. At four years, he can make a bridge with blocks, makes a bridge with cubes like this. Okay, and he can button and unbutton also. So he can wear or remove a front opening garment and he copies a square or a rectangle. Copies a rectangle. So, a rectangle has got four vertices. So, copies a rectangle or a plus sign or a Christian cross at four years. Okay. Copies a rectangle or cross and buttons or unbuttons. Five years. Copies a triangle. So, he is able to draw oblique lines. Copies a triangle or a Tilted cross or multiplication sign. Okay. Triangle or tilted cross. Copies a triangle and ties shoelaces. And he can make a door with blocks like this. Somewhat like this. So, five blocks to make a gate or a door. With blocks. Or cubes. Okay. So, these are some important fine motor milestones that we need to know. Now, moving on to some social milestones. So, at two months, social smile develops. Okay, very important. Two months, social smile. Six months, mirror play appears. Seven months, stranger anxiety. Eight months, object permanence. Nine months, very important, waves bye-bye. Waves bye-bye. 10 month plays peekaboo, 12 month kisses on request and plays a simple ball game, okay, 12 month kisses on request and he releases objects also, if you ask to give him something, he releases that, plays a simple ball game, okay, 15 months points to objects was asked recently, points to objects, 18 months 
डोमेस्टिक मिमिक्री एंड ड्राई ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम ओके डोमेस्टिक मिमिक्री ड्राई ड्यूरिंग डे टाइम टू इयर्स समथिंग कम्स दैट इज कॉल्ड पैरल प्ले सो टू इयर्स पैरल प्ले थ्री इयर्स जॉइंस इन प्ले सो दे विल प्ले विथ ईच अदर ओनली एट थ्री इयर्स ऑफ एज जॉइंस इन प्ले and at 3 years the children know their name age and gender okay knows name age and gender name age and gender and night time continence also usually appears at 3 years of age okay dry at night but it is abnormal only if the child continues to void urine in bed at night beyond 5 years of age okay so very important is nocturnal enuresis the definition of nocturnal enuresis remains same irrespective of whether it is a boy or a girl and it refers to involuntary urination involuntary urination at night beyond 5 years of age the treatment of nocturnal enuresis the first line of treatment is behavioral and lifestyle measures okay so the treatment is lifestyle measures and motivational therapy so behavioral techniques okay motivational therapy next line is bed and alarm and the third line of treatment is pharmacological which includes drugs like imipramine desmopressin okay oral desmopressin so that is about nocturnal enuresis and the social milestones now moving on to the language milestones important language milestones that we need to remember so important language milestones that we need to remember okay so important language milestones includes at 6 months the child can speak monosyllables okay 6 months monosyllables 9 months bisyllables but without meaning so mama papa without meaning okay 9 month bisyllables but without meaning at 1 year the child can actually speak 2 to 3 words with meaning okay so 1 year 2 to 3 words with meaning at 18 months the child has a vocabulary of 10 words he knows 10 words with meaning now okay 18 months vocabulary of 10 words 2 years the child number of words put in sentence is equal to the age in years so 2 years 2 word sentences 3 years 3 word sentences 4 years 4 word sentences and so on okay so 2 years short sentences so 2 word sentences and the child has a vocabulary of 100 words vocabulary of 100 words okay so the vocabulary is increasing at a very, very rapid rate okay and the child uses pronouns like i me you at 3 years 3 word sentences uses plurals and past tense okay four years the child can sing a song tell rhymes or a story okay so you know normal there is a normal disfluency of speech can occur in this period of accelerated speech development in 2 to 5 years of age the children can have a disfluency of speech okay so normal child has disfluency of speech between 2 to 5 years of age usually